In this video, we'll discuss troubleshooting of the fulcrum trigger install. Probably the most common problem with the installation of the fulcrum trigger is over adjusting the fulcrum trigger in such a manner that the trigger is not functioning properly or that you can no longer get the trigger to release the firing pin to remove the slide. So in this video, we're going to show you how to remove the slide off the Glock pistol without needing to pull the trigger. This will allow you to remove the slide if you've over adjusted the trigger. So the very first thing we're going to do is uh, to ensure that the pistol is unloaded and safe. Obviously, there's no magazine in the pistol, and I visually inspected the chamber and I've determined that this gun is indeed unloaded. Uh, we will begin by locking the slide to the rear using the um, slide release lever. We will come in with our roll pin punch or armor's tool, depress on the striker sleeve to remove spring tension, remove the rear cover plate, and then remove the firing pin. This will allow us to remove the slide without pulling the trigger. So by pulling down on the striker sleeve to remove tension, I'm going to remove the back plate. Be careful to cover the opening of the back plate with your finger because there are parts there that are under spring tension that may eject. So after removing the rear plate, I'm able to remove the firing pin. And now I'm able to disassemble the gun without pulling the trigger. You can see the slide came right off without needing to pull the trigger. The trigger's still in the forward position. Now, if the trigger's over adjusted, I'm going to use this trigger that I have out. But you would pull the trigger out from the frame and then most likely you would need to adjust out the over travel screw until such a manner that it will allow the firing pin to be released. The factory setting on the over travel is the screw flush with the back of the trigger pad. Some of the other things that you may find to be a problem uh, as you're installing the fulcrum trigger, let me uh, reinstall this one really quickly by replacing the rear cover plate. Is um, the pre-travel being over adjusted where the back of the safety is resting against the frame of the trigger, something similar to this. And what that's going to cause is extra friction. You're actually sliding the safety up against the frame up and over in order for it to release the trigger. So make sure as you're adjusting your trigger that you should have daylight between the back of the safety and the frame. As a matter of fact, we recommend that you be able to pass your adjustment wrench behind the back of the safety for proper clearance. One of the other things that you may notice on certain configurations of uh, pistol and fulcrum triggers is light primer strikes. Usually this is when you're using the factory firing pin with the um, reduced power firing pin spring. One obvious fix would be to go to a heavier firing pin spring, such as our three pound spring or the factory spring. Alternatively, you can get the ultimate kit or purchase separately the ZEV firing pin with an extended tip for more reliable primer ignition, especially when you're using a reduced power trigger spring for a lighter trigger pull. This is how we were able to add the performance and reliability back into the system. Extended post for more adjustability in the fulcrum trigger and a skeletonized design for faster lock time. 